guys what's up it's your girl lisa lwl welcome to my channel if you are new here and if you're not welcome back to eternity lwl ooh, ooh, ew. so guys i have been excited to try this um new blow dryer this new products from revlon because there's all the hoopla about it and i want to make sure that this is the real deal i watched a couple of videos and i'm like i'm amazed but I only have faith in God. I don't have faith in Revlon. So I need to check and see this for myself. Because my hair ain't like everybody else's hair that I've seen doing this. So I need to make sure that it's going to work on this hair. So my hair is still damp. Um, I'm going to do this the way that I normally would blow dry my hair. Um, so I sectioned it off. I have not applied my leave-in or anything yet. So I'm going to do that in a moment. And that will actually dampen it a little bit more. And um, I want to, first of all, say that I don't um, use heat often. And when I do um, blow dry my hair, it's on a cool setting, which has in the past taken forever to do. Um, it takes me about an hour and a half with my hair already halfway air dried to blow dry. So um, this claims, I already took it out the box though. It's a um, one step hair dryer and styler. It says it has the power of a dryer, precision of a styler, smooth, frizz-free results in half the time. Mm -hmm. um, ionic. let's see. It has a ionic technology for fast, silky, smooth results. Large paddle design dries and smooths hair quickly. Detangling bristles help dry smooth and style hair. And it is a lightweight design for comfort and ease. Um, it says tangle free drying in half the time. It also says that it has three heat settings for styling flexibility, which is great because it does have a cool setting. Um, it has a tangle free cord and it also claims to style the back of the hair with ease. Now, what hair I need to be styled with ease is up front because my kitchen has reversed itself over the years and it is here. My back is quite all right. But enough yapping, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Everything that I am using, um, I'm going to link in the description box. And just so you know what I wash my hair with because guys, any heat can definitely damage your hair. So you need to prep. Um, I would not suggest going into this willy nilly like you don't need it because if you if you treasure your curly curl pattern or if you just treasure your hair in general protect it so I used um, a product that's new to me it is by motions it's for natural textures heat style straight finish cleanser it has shea butter and keratin so that's what that looks like it was really thick it was more um, it did not set up it is not sulfate free though, so if you are a natural that has to have sulfate free shampoo, this is not for you. Um, I felt like it didn't strip my hair because it had the shea uh, butter in it and it was just so creamy. And I also followed up with my staple conditioner which is Aussie Moist. All of that I'll link below. So this is my natural curl pattern. There's no product in it. just want you guys to kind of see it. There is no no product in it and um, I'm going to do a light section I'm going to take a light amount about a quarter size of this Jamaican black castor oil leave-in I'm going to mix it with my cream of nature leave-in don't ask this is just what I do y'all I'm going to do that then I'm going to use Tresemme platinum strength strengthening heat protectant spray so that is going to help protect my hair to the 25th power okay so last but not least i'm going to use the main choice i am obsessed with the main choice okay this is their latest collection i believe heavenly halo it's a herbal hair tonic and soy milk i don't know if i said that right it was like tongue tied but it's a serum it's an oil mist and it helps with growth and retention and also it helps your scalp because i have eczema and it has definitely quenched my scalp without feeling greasy. Weighed down, it is light and it is airy and it smells great and it will shine your hair up. Enough, Lisa, enough. Let's get started. So I'm gonna take that much. 
Apply to that entire section back here. I am going to put it to the test. I am not going to detangle first. Pray for me. I'm going to take it in smaller sections though because I ain't going to have me crying. I'm tender headed. These alligator clips are extra large. They have saved my life because everything else I pop. Again, in the description box it will be. So I'm going to now take my little argon oil even. So pretty much my hair is going to be wet. <laughs> and lastly, I'm going to do the protectant. That smells pretty good. All right, y'all, I'm gonna put a good amount. So, so that you guys can see. Also, what I like already is that it has a very long cord, so that's a plus. Um, it does have a large paddle brush, and if you can see, the holes in here are what's gonna put, put out the heat. Okay, so I am going to start with the cool setting, just so you guys can see that the three settings that are on it, cool, low, and high. Okay, so, so far so good. I mean, it's doing the job on the cool setting still a lot sooner than it would have done on my regular blow dryer. Let me get in a little closer. I'm going to go to low. What I can tell you guys is that it's pretty straight for a blow dry. Um, I was able to get to my roots. It's still damp. So I may have lied and I have to go through with the... Um, on high, maybe one pass. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna twist it and go to the next section. And then I'll just kinda come back when I get to this front and let y'all know what I really think about it. Um, so far, so good. Let me try this high setting because it really wouldn't be fair for me to not review it all the way through. Um, this back part though is already kinda warm on low settings, so. But I had no, it was easy to, to touch. And what I also like is that it's gonna be really easy to clean this brush out because there's a lot of space in between. So, I'm gonna do that and move on to the next section. Not that bad, because again, I'm not doing that much, but I'm gonna tell y'all something already. I like it, I like it. Like, I'm, and I'm in love with it already. Like, when I am doing my own hair and blow drying it my way, my little comb be snap, crackling, and popping. And my little comb be snap, crackling, and popping. Like, it just ain't gonna last. So, this was really good. All right, y'all. Let me twist this up and go on to the next section. And I'll be back. All right, guys. So, I already have some pros and cons, but my hair is pretty straight definitely a plus and it literally has been a short amount of time so i'm feeling that i mean i got some hang time so i'm feeling good and y'all i'm gonna sleep with it just like this tonight tied up so that it can be long in the morning <laughs> um i'm just playing but i'm serious so i cannot find out um exactly i think it goes up to 450 degrees which is really hot um, again, just be careful when using it, and I would suggest just touching the handle part. Don't go up here and touch this. This is the part that gets really hot, and it's normal that it does that. Um, reading the instructions, it said it. I didn't like that they didn't have the temperature in the instructions unless I overlooked it. And also, this is not a um, new product. They just repackaged it and rebranded it, basically. So, um, <clears throat> it's a little bit more geared towards us natural girls now. And, um, so I'm going to continue with the top and this is my problem area. So 
Oh, and what I do love, it was right. I did not detangle my hair prior, and it pretty much went right through. Um, less problems than usually I would um, detangle first and then blow dry, and I'm still detangling. So this definitely helped me skip a step. Yeah, I'm gonna start on low, and then I'll switch it to high. Easily could be the help of my products when I know it does help. But. Okay guys, so I am finished. It has definitely dried my hair. It definitely cut down the time. Um, I got some hang time now, so I'm feeling good. Um, I am going to proceed with, um, but I'm gonna do that off camera. The oil mist that I mentioned earlier, but guys, just so you know, this is great. So again, all the products that I mentioned are listed below with links that you can click on, and it'll take you directly to that product. Um, for more information or if you want to purchase it and um yeah guys so i'm satisfied i would give this a 85 out of 100 so i'd give it an 85 percent um i'm satisfied with it um i mentioned the cons already so but the pros are it really did take away a lot of my time the pro was i did not have to detangle so, but you want to make sure, again, I have to stress how important it is to have a um, heat protectant. And also you have to make sure that your hair is clean prior to using it and that you have things that have already, you know, a leave-in that's already conditioned and softened your hair. It's going to make it much easier and it depends on your hair type. But if you're anything from a, I would say, a 3C to a 4C, you definitely want to make sure that you have it conditioned very well so that it's easy to maneuver through it. Um, I am a type, if I had to do hair typing, my back is, is a 3C and my mixture up here is between 4A and B. So I have a lot to work with. But I want to thank you guys again for watching. Be blessed. Most importantly, be a blessing. Um, make sure that you are subscribed for more tutorials, more reviews. This channel is about a lot of things. And I feel like it should be because I'm about a lot of things. So thank you guys again. Be blessed. Most importantly, be a blessing. L-W-L. Ooh, ooh, L. Smooches, guys. Mwah.